Awesome. So the theme of this um, evening was why should we vote for you? Can you tell us in a quick sound by why the people of District 11 should go for Yes, and thank you for having us. We, we appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, I'm a seventh generation Texan. I grew up in this district from a ranching family. I've spent 20 years serving in the Air Force uh, after graduation from the Air Force Academy. And so service before self is something that uh, my wife and I are passionate about. Uh, when you look at this district, you look at oil and gas, you look at agriculture, and there's an Air Force base. And all of these things are of national security interest. And they need to be represented uh, and deserve to be represented in that way. President Trump endorsed me a couple weeks ago because he sees a fighter, somebody that can go drain the swamp, that can stand by him, and that can represent a district that is giving him instruments of power and leverage around the world uh, that, that is doing things that are truly remarkable. Awesome, and the race is just right around the corner. Um, a lot of people are already still, or a lot of people are decided on who they want to vote for, but for those that are undecided and those are still, you know, searching for who they want their next representative to be, what do you want to share with them about this? Yeah, you bet. And, and you know, to take part in this process, is, it's very humbling, 29 counties. And what I would share with people is that I'm going to represent with integrity. I'm going to go do a good job for this district that deserves somebody who is going to stand up, do the right thing, uh, and represent the people of District 11 uh, that are doing things to support this country uh, and, and keep it more secure. Yeah, I just have a quick question. Yeah. Um, do you support it? Yes, I, I do support President Trump and his effort to secure our country. I support uh, not just the wall. It, it's it's also about more boots on the ground, technology, sensors, things that, uh, that we can keep our country safe. I have three daughters, and I don't want them to be subjected to the drugs or to the cartels or, or uh, any of the uh, criminal activity that's flooding across our southern border. Um, our economy here is based on oil and gas. Are there any oil and gas regulations? Well, you know, the federal government needs to stay out of the state of Texas business when it comes to the innovation uh, in the production of oil and gas. And the fact that we have five million barrels a day that are being produced in the Permian Basin is a strategic asset. It's a national security issue. Um, the folks of Midland, including Mayor Patrick Payton um, and uh, a couple of industry leaders, uh, to include Secretary of uh, Commerce Don Evans, have endorsed me because they know that I'm going to go up and do a good job fighting for this industry, which, as a military professional, is a strategic uh, and national security level issue. Um, and just to reverse it, do you support private space industries? And if so, why or why? Well, as you know, the Space Force was, uh, was just announced uh, as a member of the Armed Forces and Department of Defense. Uh, working for President Trump on the National Security Council. Uh, making the Space Force another service was extremely important uh, to our country. It was important uh, to not only have uh, you know more innovation and more utility uh, of space, but also to have it as a warfighting domain. Uh, and so there is a part uh, of our space industry that is private, uh, and there's a part that's also going to be uh, uh, done in the military. And last question. What's the first issue that you would tackle for the well, I think uh, number one, uh, like we've mentioned a number of times, is making sure that our border is secure. Uh, and so uh, standing by the president, uh, using my military background um, to make sure that we do have a safe and secure country uh, is issue number one. No, I just uh, I look forward to meeting, uh, continuing to meet uh, the incredible voters uh, of the Permian Basin. We have just thoroughly enjoyed getting to know so many incredible people. Uh, the support that we're receiving right here in the Permian Basin is overwhelming. Uh, it's humbling. Uh, we're honored to have the support. Uh, and we're going to go represent with integrity and character, which is what Washington needs.